So my name is Nishant. I am going to study for a master's in electrical engineering at the University of Twente. And uh, currently I am a research intern at I IIT Delhi, which is the uh, Indian Institute of Technology. Okay. And so now to the questions that I have, like what to do after coming to the Netherlands. So maybe you can split your videos accordingly. Uh, Um, and uh, what's a day pass and uh, how is it different from an OV chip card? Uh, okay, so I have never used a day pass. I mean, they are sold in all supermarkets like Albertine and others. So sometimes it is cheaper, but for a long term thing, uh, if you see the video I mentioned, I never mentioned about the day pass. I'll maybe make a video, just write it down. I'll remember it. So uh, it's like, uh, I mean, day pass is cheaper for particular days. Like when you, I think it costs like 10 or 12 euros and using that you can go and come back. Like uh, inside Netherlands, okay, so for a short go trip. To a, yeah, yeah, I mean like one day or two day, if it depends on you. So if you don't want to pay, if you are not traveling a lot and if you don't want to pay like uh, 50 euros. Uh, I mean, initially it's not 50. Initially they charge you 35 or 39 for the personalized OV chip card per year. And with that, what happens is whenever you go in bus, tram, metro, short distance. I mean, the thing is the day pass is like if you're planning something on the weekend or specific days, because that whole day you need to spend using that pass. Otherwise it is useless. You spend above 10 euros. And if you compare it to a OV chip card price, it will be obviously 10 euros less. Like it, even with a discount with the OV chip card, if you go to Amsterdam from here, which is like 250 kilometers and come back, that will cost you like 30 euros. But if you have that day pass, then it will cost you like 12 euros or 14 euros. Normally it is the price. So it's almost 50%. But that again depends. Like suppose you are going Amsterdam like for work or you're going for the whole day planning a trip with your friends or so sometimes it is uh, profitable, like the day pass is profitable, but getting them is also a tricky thing. Like they are sold in these supermarkets normally. Uh, recently, I also saw it in the Albert Hein. Maybe I'll make a video on that. Uh, so that's like you, I mean, they are, you can get it there, like, but they're sold very fast. So. Okay. Sometimes even if you hear it and you go there and it's already gone <laughs> because they have limited numbers and they're sold really fast. I think they don't sell it online, whatever I know. You can get them only in this supermarket. There are many supermarkets where they are sold, but you can get them only there. And each supermarket has certain quota for how many day passes for the duration they can sell. And they don't come every month. So they have certain offers, I think during special occasion, like this is the summertime and most people are going. So maybe they are having, because two days back I went to Albertan and there was big banners about the day pass, like three, four banners. <laughs> yeah. So they have it like for these kind of trips, it's beneficial. Okay. Uh, and how is an anonymous OV chip card different from like a personalized one? So like for my, uh, I'll be coming from like Amsterdam to Enskede. Mm. So should I buy an anonymous one or should I just buy a personalized one and pay the full ticket price at first? No, no. Uh, if you check the video properly, then you cannot buy a personalized unless you have all these things like your bank and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm asking that uh, should I like buy a personalized one later and just I mean, uh, pay the full ticket you, price? At once you come here, I think it will take you at least a month to get the personalized OVC card. So it depends, like if you want to spend, that will cost you 750 for the card, the, uh, the anonymous one, but mm -hmm. that is valid for five years, the anonymous card. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, it's like, it won't be a wastage for after that okay. month, once you have the personalized one, you can also use it once your anyone comes, like you, they okay. can also use it instead of buying a ticket because it is anonymous, so it can be used by anyone. But you pay 750. So if you think that for a month 750 is expensive, then because the thing is, if you travel without the card, how many times you travel mm -hmm. for each ticket because you are printing a paper? 50. Uh, it costs yeah. one euro extra. And if you book that online, sometimes it is not one euro extra, and sometimes online the tickets are not okay. I mean, like 
some tickets don't show that you can buy online and mm -hmm. some can be found online so it depends okay. you cannot book them you need to book in the counter and once you book in the counter you get the paper then you pay like one euro extra so it depends if you travel only two times then maybe you don't buy the anonymous because you will buy the personalized it depends on you but okay. that will be useful later also even if you have the personalized it can be used by anyone else anyone okay i've uh, seen people also selling that in the student groups like okay uh, suppose they are leaving Netherlands, they have mm -hmm. certain balance in it, they sell it with the balance and mm -hmm. they get back everything. So uh, the price of the OVCIP card, maybe they give it a discount because they have used for three years. So they say like you pay three euro for the OVCIP card, I've used it for three years and I have seven euro remaining. So 10 euros, pay me 10 euros, I'll give you the card with seven euro balance or something like that. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense.